Hi, welcome to Big Dora Trading Channel. In the last class, we learned how to add an input to the stochastic indicator that we created. I showed that a few lines of code was possible to create a stochastic, much like the standard stochastic offered by TradingView itself. Today, we will learn how to insert a moving average in the chart using the Pine Editor. To begin this lesson, we will include in the chart a standard moving average offered by TradingView itself. Note that in this settings window, it is possible to change some settings such as length, source, and more. That's exactly what we are going to do. To start, open your Pine Editor by clicking on this button. Delete everything written in your Pine Editor so that we can start a new code from scratch. In the first line of the code, we need to specify which language version we are going to use. Since version 4 is the most recent, I will use version 4. In the second line of the code, we need to say whether our code is going to be an indicator or if the code is going to be a strategy. It is important that you understand that the Pine Editor serves to build both indicators and trading strategies. Therefore, we always need to say at the beginning of the code what we are going to program. For this, there are two functions that define the type of code, the study function and the strategy function. I will use the study function as this code will aim to plot a moving average on the chart. I will define the code name and the overlay. In this case, the overlay must be equal to true, as we will want to plot the moving average along with the price chart and not in a separate window. Now let's go to line 4. Here I am going to create a variable called A. This variable I will use to store the moving average value. After writing the name of your variable, you need to put the equal sign and then use the function that returns the moving average value. This function is called SMA and it is able to return the values of a moving average according to the parameters placed within the parentheses. The first parameter is the value you want to use as a source to calculate the average. In that case, I want an average based on the closing price. The second parameter consists of the length of this moving average. In that case, I will want a 20 period moving average. Now let's go to line 7. Here, I am going to use the plot function to bring to the chart this value that we get in the code. Just write the word plot and insert within the parentheses the variable we use to store the moving average value. When finished, click the add to chart button and see how it looks. The moving average was successfully plotted on the chart. However, it is not yet possible to modify the moving average using the settings window. To do this, let's go back to the Pine Editor and add some inputs to the code. The first input will serve for the user to choose which source will be used to calculate the average. So let's create a variable called moving average source and use the input function to store what the user chooses in the properties window. We will use the same parameters taught in the past class. First, I will tell what the default value will be and then I need to say what the title of this parameter will be in the settings window. The second input will serve for the user to choose the period of the moving average. The process to be done 
is the same as in line 4. Now, all we need to do is use these variables that store the values chosen by the user and insert them in the function of the moving average. That done, just add it to the chart again. Note that we can now configure the moving average using the settings window. Although this class is technically simple, it is very important for those who are starting to learn a first programming language. I hope this lesson was useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks and see you in the next video.